The summer season just around the corner. The EU has called on member states to reopen their borders to some international holidaymakers on July the 1st. Well, Foreign Affairs Chief Josep Borrell wants to gradually lift restrictions with some third countries, but the decision will ultimately rest with national governments. Border restrictions within the bloc have already begun to ease. Interior ministers have agreed to coordinate reopening to travellers from outside the Schengen area, Britain and the EU. Well, let's cross to Brussels now for more on this. And I'm joined by our political editor, Darren McCaffrey. Well, hello there to you, Darren. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm already thinking about my summer holidays. But it's a bit of a mixed picture, isn't it? So I guess with the summer fast approaching, the question is where and when will holidaymakers be able to travel? Well, it's still a pretty complex task trying to work out precisely how things are going to plan out this summer. And, of course, Isabel, there's an awful lot of uncertainty, too, uh, given the fact that this virus is far from gone away. Some notable things today. First of all, though, about uh, the internal borders inside the EU. Some big countries like Germany announcing that it's going to lift its border controls with France, Austria, Denmark and Switzerland uh, on Monday, June uh, 15th. Uh, Austria also saying that it is going uh, to open up as well, notably that border with Italy that's been closed really since uh, very early on in March. And it says that it is going to allow entry to all EU uh, countries and EEA uh, states also from uh, Monday. But there are notable exceptions, that of Great Britain, Sweden, Spain and Portugal. And also today, Slovakia saying that it's going to open its country uh, to 16 uh, different European countries uh, and designating uh, 19 countries in total as low uh, risk. Though, of course, quarantines still remain in many countries, uh, in places, of course, like Ireland and indeed in uh, the United Kingdom uh, too. Uh, but there is a sense, finally, that after months of lockdown and confinement and closed borders, uh, that things are starting to change, that people will be able potentially to go on holiday this summer, Isabel, but also be able to go and visit uh, family. Of course, many Europeans live in different countries from uh, their relatives, a chance to go home and see them as well. And then, as you say, Joseph Burrell, uh, the effect of EU's top diplomat today suggesting that the EU will look at easing its external border controls from the start of next month. Darren, but it is uh, all rather confusing, isn't it? And it had appeared that the EU Commission had wanted to almost coordinate the opening up of these borders. So there was a clearer picture, obviously linked to this uh, coronavirus pandemic. Uh, so, so what went wrong there? Well, I think there has been a sense of coordination to a degree. Uh, of course, when you look at next Monday, that's a big day uh, for countries like Germany, for France, for where I am here in uh, Belgium. Others have decided to go uh, much sooner. Uh, some of them, like Greece and Italy, uh, and others are very dependent on tourism. They're very keen to attract people as soon as possible. Uh, others, of course, are still concerned about the impact this virus uh, might have. In fact, actually, the German foreign minister, while announcing the opening of borders, uh, said that you know, they can be reimposed at any time if things get out of control. But you're right. You know what? There's not been masses of coordination on this. And even with the external border, the EU can only advise and almost cross its fingers that EU member states decide to do that at the start of next month. Ultimately, it will be up to every individual member to decide whether people from outside Europe can come and visit from the start of next month. Absolutely. National competence is there. Well, thanks so much, Darren McCaffrey in Brussels.